Hey moms and dads, I want to talk to you just for a moment about water baptism. Uh, water baptism is something that we believe in uh, with all of our hearts because we believe in following Jesus and following Jesus' commands. You know, God's Word says that after we're saved, we should uh, follow through with being baptized in water. And uh, we believe that that means that after you have made a decision for Jesus and you've decided to ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart, forgive you of your sins, that then you become baptized in water. And we believe that that is uh, modeled by Jesus by being fully immersed. That means you go completely underwater and come back up. And so I would really encourage you guys, uh, if your kids have been saved, and have not yet been baptized in water, that you can do that. You can do that any Sunday at James River after either of our Sunday morning services. At the South Campus, that happens in the Clark Chapel, and you can ask anyone in at any info or guest service desk where that is. And at the West Campus, that happens in the prayer room. And so again, you can ask anyone uh, in the church at the guest services or the red carpet teams where that is, and they will direct that to you. You know, here's why it's so important, because when you're being baptized in water, you're really identifying yourself with Jesus Christ. You're identifying with the fact that just as Jesus died for our sins and rose up from the dead, that so also when we ask Jesus into our hearts, that our old self is gone, and that when we uh, come up out of the water, that we're a new creation. And uh, it really talks about that in Romans chapter 6. It says, that's what baptism into the life of Jesus means. When we are lowered into the water, it is like the burial of Jesus. And when we're raised up out of the water, it is like the resurrection of Jesus. Each of us is raised into a light-filled world by our Father so that we can see where we're going in our new grace-sovereign country. And I think that is so cool. Such a good picture that when we're saved and then we're baptized in water, there really is kind of a realization and understanding of what we have done. Now here at James River, here's how it works. We ask that kids be eight years old. And uh, you're not going to find that verse anywhere in the Bible. So if you're looking for it, you can stop. Um, but all that is, is we want to be responsible. And we want to make sure that kids are at an age where, where they can understand it, where they could even kind of articulate it back to us, that this is why they should be baptized. When I talk with kids about questions with baptisms, really the, the most important thing to me is that number one, they understand what it means to be saved, that, that they're a sinner and that they need Jesus and they've asked Jesus into their heart. And the second thing, it's important for me to understand that they do not think that water baptism is the same as salvation or that, that they need to be baptized in water in order to be saved. And so I'll talk with that through kids. That's something that you can talk with your parents, that they understand that it's something that they do that is symbolic of Jesus' death and resurrection, and that they're identifying themselves, their lives, with Jesus, that they're a Christ follower, that they're following Jesus in His, in his an example, in His footsteps, and that they want to live for Him for the rest of their lives. And so uh, I would encourage you guys to do that. It's great. Uh, the way they do it here at James River is um, really easy. It's important. And so you can do that. If you have any questions, come talk to one of the kids' pastors. We would love to talk to you and your family about it.